So there's one right there, you see that? Poking its nose out. There's another one right behind it, right there. Look at that. There's another one right here, look at that one. Look how close these are, look how many there are. There are tons of them here. Now, notice here this leaf is standing straight up. Let me pull it back and let's see what's underneath it. Look, look, that, look at that. There are two half free morels right there. Welcome to another episode of Utah Mushroom Hunter. I'm Blaine Washburn with r, r Realty and I love hunting mushrooms and, and it is morel season. And I'm, che I'm checking another one of my low elevation areas and so hopefully find something good. Let's see what we find. Now, uh, I've said in some of my, vi my past videos that there are certain kind of morel mushrooms that like um, dirt right along pathways. This is a pathway here and you can see all this thick grass right here. They don't necessarily like this thick grass, but they'll probably, they'll love this side here. And let me just show an example of this. I, I have already found some half free morels right along this area and look where we're finding them, okay? So there's one right there, you see that? Poking its nose out. There's another one right behind it, right there. Look at that. And we can just keep walking. Look at that. There's one poking up right, right there. Let's see if I, do I see it? Yeah, right there. There's another one right here. Look at that one. Look how close these are. Look how many there are. There are tons of them here. Now notice here, this leaf is standing straight up. Let me pull it back and let's see what's underneath it. Look, look, that, look at that. There are two half free morels right there. Look at this area right here. There's three of them right there, or four of them right there. Probably more if I pull these leaves back. There's four of them right there. These are all half free morels. And there's more. Look at that area. Look at that one. Oh, look at all those right there. They're popping up all over the place. And today is April the 17th, which is a great time to be looking for these morel mushrooms. We just had a really good rain the other day. And so there's uh, gonna be a lot of them popping up. And I could go down here, if I look careful, I can find many, many more of these. Okay, so I'm finding a lot of half free morels here. And I'm gonna just start getting these. See, look at this. Gorgeous little half free morel. Uh, this area. I can come back here in a couple days and there probably will be quite a few more of them as well. Look at that, see that? There was a, uh, a uh, leaf poking up right there. And there's a half free morel poking there. The reason why I call these a half free morel is because the top has that more uh, typical morel look to it. You got the white stem underneath, but if you look underneath the cap, it's not sticking directly to the stem. That's why they call these a half free morel. That's gonna be a delicious mushroom. There's another one right there. Here's another one. Got a couple of them right here. Gonna have to wash these out really good because they're gonna be super sandy. Look at that. There was one, uh, some leaves popping up right there. There was a morel, half free morel hiding underneath that. It's a lot of them through here. These are kind of poking up. There might be some, oh, look at that. You see that? It's kind of in my shadow. The leaves are poking up really high right there. There's a big old half free, half free morel underneath that. Look at that. See these 
leaves poking up. There's two of them underneath there. Look at down here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a half free morel hiding right there. Good sized one too, look at that. Good sized one. There's a big clump of uh, Caprinellus micaceae, which is a, uh, an edible mushroom. Um, not one of my favorites. This is, I believe this is the variety that if you, drink, if you eat, you gotta be careful drinking alcohol. But it's not a choice edible, I leave those alone. Look at here to the side, another one of those, great big one of those pizzazzi. Oh, look at the young micaceae under, under there. I could harvest those. They'd be edible, I'll leave them though. Look at that great big pizzazzi, it's a big. Got something right here. Oh, more of those pizzazzi. I, I'm not gonna call it a pizzazzi, but it's a very close, it's probably in the pizzazzi family, pizzazzi. And um, there's a number of them that look very similar to that. Oh, look at that, all over. There's a lot of them there, wow. Kind of cover those back up. Here's a couple more morels right here. Look at this nice clump of morels right here. Again, half free morels. And just a reminder, these half free morels, for some reason, they like popping up right along paths. They don't mind the disturbed soil. Almost seems like they prefer it. And uh, they hate this tall grass like that's over here. You, you, it's possible to find them in there, but you're not as likely to find them in there, but they love this right along the paths of the disturbed areas. Sometimes even, even in harder areas where the soil is harder, they'll pop up through that too. Let's see, there's a, another one right here. Boy, this sun and that shade is making it a little hard. Might have to get creative. Okay, now see, see that right there? You've got this leaf popping up. You've got one underneath there. Look at that. There's another one. So it is prime time. See that right there? It's just po poking its nose out. I like to leave just a little bit of a the stem in there too. I think it kind of helps promote the next year's next crop. Here's four of them right in a row. Look at those. Those are fun. Gorgeous half free morels. Look at that one right there. Can you see that one? How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Doing good. Yeah, I love your hunting. babies. What's that? Treasure hunting. Not treasure hunting. Well, kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at these right here, too. Nice, morels everywhere. Had a suspicion this might be a good time for them and boy, are they popping.
Okay, see, there's another one pop. Uh, there's a um, leaf litter right here. See, look at that great big one. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. They're so easy to miss too. I guarantee you that I'm missing them. Oh man, they're so easy to miss. See, look at this one here. So I can come back here in three or four days and there'll be a whole new crop of them all popping up. And now as I'm being super careful not to step in this area because I do plan on coming back to get more of these. And if I step on the ground here, I'm trying to stay on this path. If I stay, can stay on the path, then I'm less likely to, to ruin any or disrupt them. So when you're out mushroom hunting, keep that in consideration as well. Okay, so this is interesting. On a wet, really wet year, I found a gazillion of them on this side. I'm looking the other way now. This is where I've been finding them all. I've found them all along this side here. I'm not finding any on this side over here. Well, for sure they're starting there, but this side is, they're popping on because they have a bet, better south facing slope. So this side is, is going to be warmer than, the, uh, than this side here. This is a lot more flatter. So this one is, is absorbing more warmth. And that's the reason why we're finding them here along this side, but not on this side. But I would not be surprised if I finding them on this side here in a few days. One thing interesting is this area right through here is one of the very first places I ever found in Morel. And the city brought in some heavy equipment and uh, drove it along here, scraped this ground, and I haven't ever found them since. So because the city came in here and they uh, just disrupted the Morel's ecosystem, I haven't, you know, I haven't been able to find them. I'm hoping, I'm gonna look hard today to see if I can find one. I'm hoping that they can recover and grow again in this area. I'll let you know if I can find one down in this area. You can see there's a lot of hoary crests in this area. I don't think you're gonna find any down here this year either in the area that was disrupted by the city heavy equipment. But I am going to look across over through over here. Hopefully I find some up along this area. I have found them up there in the past. Not in as big a numbers, but I'll check and see what I can find today. One other thing of note, when I find them in this area, they're not usually the half free morels. The half free morels right along the trail, typically. I'm sure they pop up in other areas as well, but they really like the right along the trail and the morels that I find in this area are typically yellow morels. They like a slightly different environment. You know, they, they like it um, farther away from the path. Uh, they, you know, they like the mixed grass. They, they still like the being relatively close to water and so forth. Okay, I'll keep looking. Fun little dove nest that I came across. Of course, I'll leave that alone. So I just searched that slope and that is a north, north facing slope. So I just realized they'd be a little bit early there. It's a little, probably a little early for these ones because that slope, since it's facing north, isn't quite as warm as some of the areas. So I'll have to try back here in a week or so. One area that I found them a number of years is right past this stream but the stream is a little higher than it normally is last year I couldn't even get through here because there's so much water it's not quite as high today but right behind those trees right there so I got to figure out a way to get over this if there's a way to do that all right so when I grab the stick I think it's gonna get me over it let's just hope I don't let's hope I don't fall in 
made it across. All right, let's go check out that spot. Well, darn, here's my spot. But I don't know if it's the city or who, but they've piled a bunch of debris right over where I found them in the past. Well, I still found them right over there. And I could still just be a little bit early, but regardless, all this stuff is in the way. I mean, like right here is where I found them in the past. I don't know if uh, I'm gonna get any because of all this extra debris, but I'll check in here. I could be just a little bit early because I am early in the season still. Normally I don't check this spot for another week or so. Here's evidence on how much water this area has gotten. Look at this big banana slug. You don't usually see those in Utah, but you can find them when there's been a lot of water. Put that him underneath that log where you can stay a little bit protected. Back to my crossover spot. That works good enough. We go through a lot to find our morel mushrooms, those that are serious about finding them. All right, I think I want to cry. This is a spot that has produced for me every single year that I could get to it. And um, normally, I mean, last year I wasn't able to get to the spot because the water was so high. This year, the, the water's still pretty high, but not as high as last year. But this area right through here, what used to be bare ground, and I, this is where I'd find all my morels. I'd, every year I'd find probably 12 to 20 of them right through here. And there's not gonna be any in that spot anyway. There's a chance maybe, if I'm really, really lucky, that I might be able to find them up here just a bit. I did find a couple over in this area too, but I don't know. Hopefully I can get back here in a week or so to see if any of them pop. But uh, there's definitely not any here, but this area has been completely washed out too. Sometimes they are just finding areas that are washed out, but not really when it's covered with debris like this. There's another one. Look at that. Those are awesome. Be super yummy. Well, I'm heading home and I just keep finding them back along the path and there I'm still uh, finding them along the trail. There are so many of them here. Today was an epic half free morel day for sure. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a day and it's been a really fun day. We found a lot of half free morels. Uh, it's the perfect time of year to find these mushrooms. And I, I think I probably found somewhere between 50 and 60 of them today. I haven't counted them yet, but it looks like about that amount of them. And um, I, there's a lot of them out there to be found. So I hope you guys can get out and, and get looking. And I really appreciate you watching this episode. Make sure you like and subscribe if you do like my videos. And we will see you in the next episode.